So we're going to move on to merchandise. So what is merchandise? Yes, the sale of hard good physical products. So it's items that people can touch, wear, hold, things that have mass as opposed to zeros and ones and as opposed to experiences. Okay, so do you see the difference? All right, so why is merchandise relevant? It's because you like, there's something about it that has some intrinsic value that you want to wear. It, it's something about it, it relates to, on some level, your identity. Okay, like why did I put these clothes on? You know, because I still am Mr. Industrial Culture Guy and Punk Rock Guy that dressed all in black back when I was 21 years old. Okay, zeros and ones don't really do that. Merchandise is something that most artists forget about, especially most filmmakers forget about, and only think of the DVD as one physical object that they can sell. What types of merchandise we should we consider? So first of all, the DVD. And so why do DVDs still sell? And they still sell even though it's declining. Anyone have an idea why DVDs sell? Yeah? People collect them. They have collecting value. It's one reason. Another reason is some people still can't figure out the internet. And some, but to be perfectly honest, there's certain age groups that don't like to deal with the internet. Um, there's also countries that don't have broadband yet. So there's a lot of, like when I was in Australia, there were blockbusters everywhere. And I was like, it was almost like a blast from the past for me. It's like, wow, there's blockbusters on, you know, every, every couple of miles there's another blockbuster. This is incredible. The other reason is that people still respond to packaging and the DVD is the only time that the film is sold in relationship directly to its packaging. Okay, so the packaging is on the DVD. If you happen to get it into a store or if you're selling it in a live event, it's something physical, people can look at it. If your packaging is good, it can inspire them to buy. I think it's time for filmmakers to get beyond what I call zeros and ones in a crap plastic box, which are basically what most filmmakers make, which are those DVDs and Amray boxes, and to start thinking about making a DVD that has some intrinsic value in, to it in and of itself. So I want to show, this is the package for a film called Helvetica. This is the Blu-ray edition. And so what does this remind you of? 12-inch vinyl. Okay? And it's beautiful. And so it's something that you could own and say, oh, look at this wonderful, beautiful DVD package. And it's something that you can put on your shelf as an art object and look at for a while and kind of front display it. And then you can slide it and you can always pull it out to remember it, etc. There's something valuable about this package in and of itself. The same filmmaker who did Helvetica also made a film called Objectified. Each of them are limited editions at $75, and they're selling out a $1 USB stick in a 50 cent packaging, selling it for $75. That's partially the limited edition aspect of it. What else do you notice about it? It's sealed. What do collectors do with sealed products? They keep them sealed. You're creating an instant collectible in a sense. The idea by selling a limited edition is that you're creating, in, in this director is creating something that is designed as a collectible and he's packaging it as a collectible item. Okay, so this is Data Rock released their last EP in this toy. Inside that toy is a USB pen that can, contains the new EP 1,500 photos, 60-minute concert film, 20 music videos, 105 bonus tracks, and it's 50 bucks. And it's not really, people aren't spending the 50 bucks for this. They're just, this is the excuse to buy this.